Hello and welcome back, family. Welcome back. Shalom, family. Shalom, Mispaka. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Kwan Ying Take. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back here at Heart to Heart here at a whole international YouTube assembly. I am the shepherd of this channel, Prophetess Alicia Yahoo, aka Pastor Z, Evangelist Z, or Zarina London. And again, I say welcome. You know, today I really don't want to make this a long video. I know, I know people are busy and sometimes you don't have time to watch a 30 or 40 minute video. Now, but if Yahua, Yahua, Yahua wants me to go on, then I will. But it was put on my heart to make a short video. I want to just talk to you about, I mean, some, some serious things. And you know, I like to start off by asking you a question. And I'm going to say, who said what? There's so many things that we are repeating, parroting. I, I like to say parroting, like a parrot. Hello, hello, what? Hello, you know, I don't want to cry, what? Like a parrot. Because somebody told us, or somebody told our parents, and our grandparents told our parents, and so on, you know. And we don't even really know where it came from. Things like, you know, I, I, I wrote some things, you know, like, for instance, my, my grandmother used to say, God don't like ugly, and he ain't crazy about pretty. <laughs> I used to think that was in the Bible. <laughs> you know, I was thinking, I remember thinking, well, what does he like? He don't like ugly, and he don't like pretty. He don't like nothing. So, we, and people use it as like a scripture. Another one. I say, I say, y'all, I use this restored name. Yah, Yahua, 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 Yah. But just for how people say it, this is it. God help those that help themselves. So if, in other words, Yah helps those that help themselves. Can you tell me, where is that in the scripture? Can you give me the verse and the, cha the chapter and the verse? No, you can't because it's not in there. It's, the scripture says entirely different. He helps those that realize and, and acknowledge that they cannot do it by themselves, that they need a ruler. They need a father. They need a provider. They say, I can't do this. Help me do this. Now that's when he helps. He help that's when he helps you. See, because when when we're weak, then we are strong. Because when we feel weak, we don't depend on our own physical ability. We we reach up to him for him. We spiritually we reach up to him, and say, Father, Yahuwah, Yahuwah, I can't do it. I need your help. Heavenly Father, most high. That's when he steps in and helps. So we gotta, I mean, we gotta stop saying that those, these things are like someone else is saying, well, you know, um, you're supposed to get yourself, it was, this was a, a minister, a pastor saying this, a pastor or a, a, a apostle or someone, something high up in the ministry saying, um, you know, you, you've got to stop your sin, you, you correct your sin and then come to him and then he'll help you. Well, if you could stop doing everything on your own, then you wouldn't need him. You know, I went to him in the midst of my sin. As I say, if you look at my, my uh, when I talk about my, give my testimony, you know, when I called upon him, I was getting high. I was smoking cocaine. I was getting high, taking holding a hit years and years ago. And I said a silent prayer. Father, help me. Take me from this because this is not me. This is not me. I don't want to do this. And preserve me so that I can complete what it is I'm supposed to do. That's exactly that's what I said. And I remember thinking, oh. you know, I, I mean, I, I didn't say it out loud. I remember thinking, oh, man, I'm in trouble now. You're not supposed to talk to him when you're sinning, you know, because that's what Christians told me. And so, and, and I, was, I, was, I was afraid. And I was wondering, why did I do that? I, I've never done that before. Why did, I, why did I say that? Now I understand that was his, his, his ruach. The Ruh Kadush, Ruh Kadush, his what they call what you call Holy Spirit, his spirit that led me to say that, you know, preserve me 
and keep me so that I can complete what it is I'm supposed to do. And he has preserved me. It isn't because, it, it's not because I've been good to myself that I look younger than what, what I, than 65. It's, be, it's because him. And see, and I'm called for the youth. So I say that to say, when you say come as you are, come in the midst of your sin. Now you got to have the right heart. He knew when I prayed that, that I meant that. I wasn't just saying that. I was, it's like I was done with this. I mean, I was doing something that I swore I'd never do. I never, I hated drugs. And, it, and I hated people who used drugs. I used to make fun of them and say, that people are stupid that use drugs. I'll never do that. Watch that never say never. <laughs> okay, because the devil was listening. So he heard me in the midst. So that's why when people say, you got to get yourself together and didn't come to him, then you don't need him if you can get yourself together. Now, just like even when I quit smoking. Well, I had quit many times, like I said before. But one, the last time I prayed, I said, Father, I promised you I wouldn't smoke anymore. So, and I break my promise every time. And I'm so tired of that. So I need you to help me keep my promise to you. And he did. He didn't just, like I said, he didn't take all my cravings away. If my cravings were this wide, he went to here. But I was selling cigarettes all day long from 6 a.m. to 2 a.m. Running my, my family store <laughs> in the midst of quitting cold turkey. You know, but he knew my heart. He knew I meant it. So I say this to say, you know, he helps those that help themselves. He helps those that reach up and say, I can't do it. I need you. Help me. I'm a living witness. Okay? And uh, I use my testimony to help other people. They can't, they both, now they can't even ever imagine me ever smoking a cigarette, let alone uh, using, uh, uh, using any kind of drugs. <laughs> you know? But, hey, and you know, in your youth, you do a lot of stupid things because somebody else wants you to do it. Are you trying, I was pr pretending to be young, old, older than what I was, and did, doing something that I didn't want to do, but somebody else wanted me to do. Okay, that's enough of that. <laughs> but the main thing I want to talk about, who said that we're supposed to hate the sin, but love the sinner? Who said that? Okay, you, you, you say Yah said that, or you say the Father, somebody say God said that. Uh, can you tell me where, the, what chapter and what scripture? <laughs> you can't, because I can assure you, in, in my research and study, I'm sure some of you already knew that, but I, I, just, I didn't know this. Do you know who said that? Mahatma Gandhi said that. Gandhi made that phrase popular. Hate the sin, love the sinner. Now you know he worshipped thousands of gods. <laughs> you, you know, he, he was not walking right. Now he could have been. He could have been. But I tell you, he went to a he went to a, a Presbyterian church in Africa, a, a white ran by whites, and they turned him away because he had black skin. He wanted. He read the Bible and he believed that Yahusha was that the Bible was true and Yahusha was was right. He was the Savior and he was coming in to profess it. And they turned him away. And he said, "I would have become a Christian if I hadn't have met one." That's true. And you know what? And beloved, that is that has happened to a lot of people. It happened. It was to me for. I mean, some of the meanest people I've met and the coolest people were in the church. You know, some of the ones that said and did the worst thing to me were in the church. Chris, so think about this. I mean, and that those now those people who turned him away, they have a lot to answer. They had to come before the Father now because look at all the people that he led to his gods, to those gods, those pagan gods. All those people that he would have brought to the Father, to the kingdom of heaven. They're responsible for those souls. They're responsible. You know, I mean, how stupid how ignorant, which is a lack of knowledge, you turn somebody away because their skin is more beautiful than yours. <laughs> that dark, the skin is dark. I mean, like the, the earth. I mean, that that skin that 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 doesn't age fast. That don't bruise easy. Like black don't crack. Hello. <laughs> now I'm getting started. Hey, I'm yeah. I mean, I appreciate everybody, but I love my my my. I love my dark skin. So many there. I mean, I look at some some of the, 
YouTube channels. The girl, she wants to show you how you can brighten, brighten your skin. How to they're lightening their face, lightening. I went through that as a younger, you know. And I said, and it seems like the older I get, the the, the lighter I'm getting. I want my, my, I used to be blacker. I want darker. I want to be darker again. Anyway, I'm, I'm digressing. Where are you going? Damn, get back, girl. Anyway, I was talking about, we got that Mahatma Gandhi. Yeah, how he would have been a Christian if he hadn't been turned away. But he's the one that said, that made popular, hate the sin, but love the sinner. And he got that from a Catholic bishop or priest. That's where he, he got, it, got it from, and then he made it popular. What does the scripture say? What does the scripture say about so let's say hate the sin love the sinner because we hear that preached on the pulpit I've heard that preached on the pulpit I heard another uh, a, a female pastor saying that just the other day you know we have to hate the sin but love the sinner and I, another uh, um, uh, minister was um, he was uh, talking to a Satanist and tell him God loves you man Jesus loves you <laughs> no he don't <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> He, if you are an enemy of him and you hate him, he doesn't, he hates you too. He, I mean, okay, let me get, let's, let's read this. Like, just like when I, when I prayed, I asked, I said, Father, are we supposed to love our enemies? I mean, what about those ones who hate you? And hate you, he, you know, and he told me just as plain, I was in a taxi on the way. He said, love your enemies, but hate mine. How are we going to love what he hates? He hates evil. The beginning of wisdom is to, is to hate evil. So how are we going to love what he hates? Or love who he hates? No, okay? That's just, I mean, that's just, um, like, okay, for instance, like, um, Psalms, here's some scriptures that you can go, Psalms 5, 5. Psalms 11, 5. Psalms 10, 3. You know, and there, there's some others. But you, um, let me go. Let me read some of them before. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes, I'm just going to read this here. So, by the way, hate the sin, love the sinner is nowhere in the King James Bible. Nowhere. It is actually a quote from, an, it says here, an antichrist named Mahatma Gandhi, who seems to have borrowed it from... <laughs> They, this is what it says, some pervert Catholic priest. That's what, Bishop. I didn't say that. Okay. But anyway, I want to get to the scriptures here. Okay, Psalms 5.5. 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. He says, he, this it says he hates all workers of iniquity. He didn't just say he hates the sin. He hates all workers of iniquity. Okay, and... Psalms 11.5. That's, that's Psalms 5.5. 5. Psalms 11.5. The Lord trieth the righteous. Excuse me. That's what it says. Yahuwah trieth the righteous. But the wicked and him that love violence, his soul hates. Now, this is what the scripture is, scripture is saying. Let's see. Um, Psalms 45.7. Thou lovest righteousness and hate wickedness. Okay, let's go down. Uh, let's see. Mm, let me go here. How be it? For the wicked boast is at home. Okay, Psalms Psalms ten three. For the wicked boast is of his heart's desire, and blessed the covetous, whom Yahuwah abhorreth. Whom, uh, whom uh, Yahuwah hates. Your word says, your Bible, King James says, the Lord. But it is wherever you see the Lord, they took out Yahuwah. Yahuwah, Yahuwah. Okay, so, let's see. I, Psalms 26, 5. I have hated the congregation of evil doers and will not sit with the wicked. This is King David talking here. That is, yeah, this is well, he won't sit with the wicked. Then he says, let me go to another. Oh, here, Psalms 97 10. Ye that love 
Yahuwah, your Bible says the Lord, hate evil. He preserves the souls of his saints. He delivers them out of the hand of the wicked. Proverbs 8, 13. The fear of Yahuwah is to hate evil. Pride and arrogancy and the evil way and the froward mouth I do I hate. He said it. And here's Psalms 101.3. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. There's one particular one. Mm, okay, let me see. Where did he was saying? David. Uh, you know, um, Hosea 9.15. All their wickedness in Gilgal is in Gilgal. For there I hated them. For the wickedness of their doing, I will drive them out of my house. I will love them no more. All their princes are revolters. All right. Okay. Okay, here's Psalms. This is a Psalms 139, verse 20 through uh, 22. For they speak against thee wickedly. This is David talking about the Father. And thine enemies take thy name in vain. Do not I hate them, O Yahuwah, that hate thee? And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. So, where did it say hate the sin and love the sinner? You know? Love your enemies, yeah. But we're supposed to, if they're, if they're Yahuwah's enemies, if they're the Father's enemy, they hate him, we're supposed to hate them too. If they hate him, he hates them. I mean, because otherwise, what's wrong with this relationship if you're loving what he hates? Okay? Uh, there's, hey, there's another, there's another saying. Unconditional. He, got, he has unconditional love. No matter what he do, no matter what you do, he loves you. Can you show me that in the scripture where it says that? Now, yeah, I know you can say in John where, where, where they say, you know, he, uh, Yah is love. You know, they were talking about that that in, in that particular verse, scripture. But doesn't it say, if you obey my commandments and love me, then my Father and I will love you. That sounds like conditions to me. Love me, obey my commandments. See, because if you hate him, you're not with him. Like I tell people, you can't start, you can't straddle the fence because the fence belongs to Satan. <laughs> He's you either with him or you're not. And no straddling. If you straddle, you're with Satan. You know, and this is not, this is not a hate. Uh, speech or what? This is just—I mean, come across. Where in the where in the scriptures does it say, "Hate the sin and love the sinner"? Is that possible? That's what I'm saying. You know, who says what? That's what I want to talk about. Just a quick video. Say we need to be prayerful and study ourselves approved and find out what the what the scriptures really do say. And what they really don't say. And what how something we're just repeating what somebody else said. Putting things in there. Like rapture and all that. And, and the, the things I just mentioned. That's where it's, that's what I want to talk to you about. So um, I hope all is well with you. And you know, I, I don't like my voice tonight. I can sometimes I get in that where when I'm uncomfortable, my, my voice sounds that way because I like to I like to give a a, a warm warm uh, intimate something tone in my voice and I, I don't uh, do that all the time but uh, I hope you you got the message or, or maybe it'll, it'll just provoke you to study and 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 try to prove me wrong if if by chance anybody finds those scriptures. Uh, saying that I'm wrong, please, I won't be mad at you <laughs> at all. My uh, my email is there, zl dot heart h e a r t the number two heart h e r 
H-E-A-R-T at gmail.com. Z-L dot heart number two heart at gmail.com. Let me know. And I'll correct, I will humble myself and correct it. You know, this is just, I mean, that just got me. When, you know, I mean, like I say, a lot of people already knew that, but I didn't know that Mahatma Gandhi was the one that made that phrase popular. And it came from a a Catholic bishop or priest. It's not scriptural at all. Okay, and on that note, I want to say thank you for being with me. And I hope... I hope you got Yahuwah's heart. You know, sometimes my intentions are good. You know, his heart is good. Sometimes the delivery is not good. But if you can look beyond my thoughts and see my need, my need is for you to hear his heart. My need is to to bring his word. Okay, and everything is not going to be good. Am I going to make mistakes? Yes. Have I made mistakes? Yes, I have. Will I make more? Yes, I will. I don't claim to be perfect. And anybody who does is the big liar. I didn't forget my brother-in-law said. He, he said, he, he don't make mistakes. Then he thought, he says, well, you know, I think once in my young days, I made one mistake. And he was serious. He was serious as a heart attack. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, on that note, I'd like to remind you that you are here at Heart to Heart at a Hope International YouTube Assembly. And we're located in Taipei, Taiwan. We don't advertise in offerings and we don't pass the collection plate, but we do ask you to pass the YouTube link and to subscribe to the channel. Okay? And 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 also let you know, when I call you family, that you have already subscribed and watched more than one video. When I say friends, you're a newcomer. But it's so easy to become family. Just subscribe. Or watch another video. Maybe something you don't like. Maybe somebody else does. Or there's well over, there are over 100 videos with all different kinds. You can see from the beginning how <laughs> how I started graduating and, and the transitioning, you know. And I'm still in transition. You know, so. And, you know, it just bugs me that I keep saying, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. And I still keep saying it. Ay, yo. Ah. That's something they say over here. Anyway, I love you. I love you, family. I love you, my friends. And I hope to see you again. I hope to spend the Shabbat with you this time. This For those of you who don't know Shabbat, the Sabbath. Okay, have a good one. And here's some sugar from Yahuwah. Mwah! Here's some sugar from Yahusha. Mwah! Here's some sugar from the Rukat Kadush, the Holy, what you call the Holy Spirit. And here's some sugar from... Prophetess Alicia Yahoo, a.k.a. Zarina London, Pastor Z. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Bye-bye. Bye.